good morning welcome back to another weekly vlog this is a bit of a special vlog because it's my 100th weekly vlog which is kind of crazy because I don't know where those hundred weeks have gone um, and it's actually a bit more because I took a break when I had my surgery um, so yeah hundred weeks of weekly vlogging which is yeah just weird to think that I've got a hundred weeks worth of my life in videos um, it's a busy week this week, mainly with medical stuff, um, although it is also my birthday on Sunday. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing because I'm having day surgery on Friday, so it's going to be a bit all over the place. But um, yeah, today I have got an echo um, echocardiogram, which is like a scan of your heart. Um, so I'm up fairly early this morning, um, just about to take my medication and stuff, and then my dad's going to take me over to have my scan um this was all because of my breathlessness and stuff my gp wanted to check that there was nothing going on with my heart so yeah gonna go over and get that done um i've got my mental health group this evening that's through zoom but apart from that i'm just gonna try and get on with some editing when i get home so anyway i need to take my medication and then head off Right, I'm all done with my echocardiogram. Um, I had to wait in the car and then the doctor called me in when he was ready so we didn't have to like sit in the waiting room or anything like that. Um, and then you like, you have to lie on your left hand side with your arm, like there's like a bar that you have to hold on to. Um, and then it's basically like having an ultrasound around your heart. Um, I think for a woman it's a little bit more difficult because your boob gets in the way. Um, and they do have to press quite hard, I find. So that's the bit that I don't really enjoy because it can be quite painful. Um, and then there's bits where he'll be like, stop breathing for a minute and then breathe in and all these kind of different things. Um, but yeah, it didn't take too long. Um, and he also checks, like he did the ultrasound here, which checks the um, like main blood vessels that are going into your heart. Um, because with EDS, those you can have problems with um, the blood vessels and things like that but he said everything looked normal um, everything looked good um, all like the muscles and the veins and arteries and everything looked really good so that's good um, it's not anything like heart related as such because POTS is more autonomic system rather than specifically like the heart muscles um, that's causing my uh, problems with breathing so it probably is his functional breathing that is the problem um but i've got respiratory physio in a couple of weeks which i should have had uh, last week but i missed it um yeah everything went a bit wrong <laughs> um so yeah no that's good that's all done i'm gonna head home now and I'll probably get on with some editing good afternoon please excuse my rather red blotchy face and chest um, I think I'm having a mast cell reaction. My mum's just gone to get me some of my rescue medication or whatever you want to call it. The stuff that I take on top of everything else that I take if I have a reaction. Um, I don't know why I'm having a reaction because what I have eaten is exactly the same as what I've eaten before. And I did not have a reaction to it. So, I don't know. Um, I did say to my mum though, um, basically... I, so I used to be on something called ranitidine um, as part of my treatment for mast cell um, activation disorder syndrome, I don't know what you call it. Um, and then I had to be taken off ranitidine because basically they stopped production of it because of um, problems with contamination of something. And basically they just said it's probably not going to come back into production. So I was then moved on to semetidine. Um, I took that for a month, I think, and then they couldn't get hold of that. So I was then moved on to something called famotidine, um, which I've been on for a few months now, I think. And since moving from the ranitidine onto mainly the famotidine, but then I wasn't on the semetidine long enough to really notice much difference. Um, but certainly when I've been on the famotidine, I have started just getting more and more reactions. So... On the ranitidine, um, I also take sodium chromoglycate and loratadine and then I've got um, cetirizine to take on top of that if 
um, I get a reaction. Um, but yeah, on like when I was on the ranitidine, I did get reactions, but I didn't get them as often and they weren't as bad. But now, like in the space of being on the famotidine for like a few months, I had a few like bad reactions and just seem to be getting them more and more regularly again and they make you feel like crap. Um, I mean, I'm lucky that mine aren't as bad as some people's, um, although they're still not great, like you get really, like I'm, I get really, really hot um, and like obviously like blotchy and stuff but get really itchy. My eyes feel like I can't open them properly, they kind of feel all, I don't know if they look, I don't particularly think they particularly look swollen but they feel swollen my lips tingle um and like my mouth tingles um i find it difficult like more difficult to breathe it can affect my stomach and everything it's just it's not much fun um i mean some people get it really bad and like it turns into like full-blown anaphylaxis and it's really really dangerous um but yeah it just it leaves you feeling absolutely like wiped out and hung over and just horrible um and it just seems a bit of a coincidence that it's just got worse since I've changed medications. So, I don't know, I might talk to my GP about it at some point, but I just don't know what she can do about it if the other medications aren't there. So I'm going to ask on one of the support groups I'm in um, on Facebook for people with mast cell problems. Um, one, if it's something that they've noticed, and two, if they have any other suggestions of things that I could try. Um, I am, I think I'm technically still under the master cell specialist up in London. I don't know whether they actually discharged me or not, but um, I think they did say that I could get referred back up there if I need some more input. So, like, if things, like, obviously don't get any better, then I'll ask to do that. But, yeah, feeling a bit crap, to be quite honest. Um, I did all right this morning. Like, got home um, from having my echo um had a little bit of rest and then i spent the rest of the morning doing some editing and i actually got a lot more done than i thought i would um i pretty much managed to finish editing a video which i did not think i would get done but i was like i was really really focused because i'm like from friday i'm not going to be able to do anything because i've got my surgery day surgery thing on on friday that's obviously going to make me feel ill and obviously it's my birthday on sunday so i don't really want to be editing on sunday so I'm kind of determined that I need to get things done. Um, probably did way more than I should have because I ended up with a really bad headache and I'm exhausted. But I just I just needed to get it done. So yeah, I did all that and like was quite happy with myself. And now <laughs> I feel rubbish. <laughs> so that's great. Um, but yeah, my mum's just going to bring me down some of my medication to see if that can help. And I am going to probably fall asleep because I'm ugh, I just feel crap. Um, and I need to feel a bit better because I've got my mental health group um, this evening through Zoom so that needs me <laughs> kind of with it to sort out so yeah I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the afternoon um, and fingers crossed I can get rid of this reaction and feel a little bit better Good morning, it's Tuesday, we've got Noah today we've got him all day today, usually he would go to preschool but um, he tends to get like flare-ups of his asthma during the winter and he's having one of those at the moment so he's not feeling best, his best so he's staying with us today um, but actually to be honest he seems quite okay in himself it's just his asthma so um, hopefully he's got his puffer now so it will make him feel a bit better um, but yeah he's just down for a nap at the moment I had quite a long lie-in this morning wasn't quite as late as I had planned but I think I must have just needed the sleep, so there we go. Um, but yeah, I'm up and dressed and everything now and I need to get on with doing some more video stuff. I need to put my, or hopefully my pain, manage, uh, pain management, pain awareness video will have exported. So I'm hoping I can get that up today um, and then possibly get on to editing a weekly vlog. I don't know, we'll see how we get on. I've got a new candle to start burning today. I've finished my last one, which was, it was a village candle called maple butter or something i can't remember what it was called but it smelled really nice and i don't think you can get it anymore which is a really real shame because it, it smelled so good and my mum was like 
my mum even said she really liked it and yeah I can't find it anywhere which is a shame but yeah the next one that I've got is Home Inspiration by Yankee Candle and it's called Merry Mint Chocolate so I'm guessing perhaps it was the Christmassy one um, but you know what it's nearly October we can do Christmas um, so yeah that's the one I'm going to light today it's very green and it does smell a bit minty it's not massively uh, strong we'll see what that smells like when we burn it um, I have got to go and have a COVID test this afternoon which I am really not looking forward to um, it's not because I think I've got symptoms or anything like that it's because I've got to go into hospital on Friday for a day surgery procedure to have my injections um, and before you do that you have to have a COVID test um, obviously because they're trying to keep people that do have COVID out of the hospital so um yeah i've got to, we've got to drive over to the hospital and then you like apparently you drive around the back and they just sort of do it while you're in the car so i'll take you along for that as much as i can i don't know what i'll be able to film and what i won't but i'm not massively looking forward to it based on what other people have said the tests like um i mean i just keep telling myself i've had so many different tests and a lot of them are not particularly pleasant and i've always managed to get through them and kind of do okay so I can do this <laughs> I can do this um, but yeah that's the only thing that I've really got on today apart from looking after Noah so I'm just going to get on doing as much as I can on my computer until he wakes up and we have some lunch right I managed to get my video up this morning we have had some lunch and after a little bit of a manic <laughs> trying to get ready um, we are heading over to the hospital for my COVID test and Noah decided he wanted to come too, didn't you Noah? Yeah. Yeah, we told him that I had to go to the hospital and he really wanted to come. So we brought him because we're not going in, um, it's just a drive-by thing. So he's going to sit in the back and come to the hospital with us, which will be fun, won't it? But who bought me? Who bought you? Yeah. What do you mean? No, no, no. <laughs> Who brought me? Who brought him? Well, Grandpa picked you up this morning, didn't he? I got you this morning when it was uh, early. And then we, Jenny and Grandpa, are bringing you to the hospital. And then we'll come home and have some tea. And, and perhaps go in the pepper room. Pepper room! <laughs> so we're just heading over there now, slightly anxious about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get it done and out of the way. Um, and then I can't go out of the house again until I go to the hospital on Friday, which I was gonna say I wasn't really planning on doing, but we've got nowhere tomorrow and it just means we can't go out anywhere. Well, I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations of Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Uh, Jennifer Cole. Lovely. I'll just prepare the swab, okay? Thank you. Okay, let's make it go too much. Yeah. Well, the lady, now she's got to go and get a special stick that they're going to stick up Jenny's nose. Grandpa, are you going to the park? I'm not going to the park today, sweetheart, because there's not going to be time. Perhaps you could go tomorrow. What is this? Hmm? What is this? What is this? It's a shoe. Oh, whose shoe is that? It's Noah's. Noah's shoe? Yeah. What's Noah's shoe doing up here? I don't know. Is it attached to... Oh, what's this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is it a leg? <laughs> what is that tickly foot? Yeah. Noah, Noah, watch now. Watch. Hello. Hello. 
to do the food then. Oh. It's written down on a piece of paper in there with the pot test. Mm. Hello, sorry. Hi, Alice, could you confirm your full name for us? Uh, yep, Jennifer Ann Cole. And the date of birth, please? 4th of October, 1988. Lovely. And the first sign of the address, please? Yep. The best way to do this is to fulfill your credentials. Yep. Make sure your friends pop your head back and say, ah. 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 <laughs> okay, so I'll give you this and then I'll explain, let's talk it through. Thank you. Um, so you're having a procedure, is that correct? Yes. So you're away, you now need to self-isolate until the procedure? Yep. Okay. Um, the results are being telephoned in 24 to 48 hours. Yep. Coming from a private telephone number. Okay. Um, if for any reason you don't receive that telephone call, um, assume the result is negative yeah, and, a, um, and a tender appointment. Right. Normal. Okay. Fabulous. All right. Thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. What it's all done. Right. Good evening. I completely forgot to film after my COVID test. Um, we came back, played with Noah for a little bit. He then went home. I then fell asleep for quite a while and I've just been doing a few little jobs on my laptop. Um, and yeah, suddenly realized that I hadn't actually checked in. Um, so yeah, I went for the COVID test. It wasn't as bad as I had kind of anticipated. I think I don't know, I'd heard so many people say like how awful it was that I'd got myself quite nervous, but I didn't find it too bad. Um, I don't know if it kind of varies depending on who does it or if because I've had kind of other tests where I've had things put up my nose and down my throat and all sorts of things like that, whether um, it kind of didn't, like compared to them, it wasn't so bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, the one, so they do like, I think I filmed it, like hopefully it caught it, um, but they put it like down your throat first and she was like, you need to like pretend you're at the dentist and like put your head back and then say, ah. Oh. So I did that and that was probably the worst one actually because they stick it really far down because um, they have to get to your tonsils and she was doing it for quite a long time and I was like, it got to the point where I was just like gagging a little bit um, and then they stick it up your nose um, which is the one I was actually most worried about because I just don't like having things up my nose when I've had tubes and stuff. It's not particularly nice. Um, but that one wasn't too bad. It made my eyes water a bit, but it didn't last that long. Um, so yeah, we were kind of, the actual test bit was over within like a few minutes. We had to wait around for a little while because there was a bit of a queue, but no, it was okay. Noah seemed to enjoy the trip. He loved like seeing the ambulances and we were like spotting things on the way there and he was singing in the back and so he was really happy. Um, so yeah, that's done now and now I've got to self-isolate um, until I go into hospital on Friday, um, which, I mean, it's not gonna be that hard. I don't go out that much, but it would have been nice to be able to do something with Noah tomorrow, but it's just how it is. Um, so yeah, that's done and out of the way, thankfully. Um, I am going to now going to take my medication, get, probably get a drink of some description, um, and just watch a bit of YouTube and stuff before I head off to bed. Good morning. It feels very autumnal today, which I'm loving. I absolutely love autumn. I just want to get like all the candles out, fairy lights, pumpkins. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready for autumn. Um. We've got nowhere again today. Um, we usually have him all day on a Wednesday anyway, so we've got him all day. Um, he's been out playing in the garden this morning, having a whale of a time, um, and he's just gone down for a nap. Um, I could just hear him, like I've been on my computer and I could just hear him singing, because um, his room's like kind of opposite diagonally, um, my office, and I could just hear him like singing along for a while, but he's gone quiet now, so I think he's probably gone to sleep. Apparently he was up at like four o'clock this morning, so he's probably quite tired. Um, but yeah, I don't have any kind of plans for today. I can't go anywhere because I'm self-isolating until Friday. I'm try and like sort out some like autumn crafts that we can do with him when he's with us. Um, so I've been looking on Pinterest and getting ideas, um, there's kind of, I don't know, like leaf rubbing and um, I don't know, like making pictures like with your hands for like um, the leaves on trees and things like that. So yeah, it'd be quite fun to get some things to do 
um, now that the weather's not going to be quite so good probably but yeah apart from doing that and entertaining Noah I'm just getting on with doing editing and stuff my dad had to come and help me with my computer because I'm having trouble with storage again it's always an issue I don't know how any other youtubers and bloggers manage storage but if you've got any suggestions hit me up because it drives me mad um, I'm also having trouble getting my pain video up the one that I finished editing yesterday I thought it would have got up by now but it hasn't um, and it just says like it's done like the first uploading bit and now it's meant to be processing but it's been at 0% for ages so I don't know if I'm gonna have to try and like redo it or something which is frustrating because I'd hoped it would be up by now but anyway I'm gonna probably start editing a weekly vlog I need to try and do that today and tomorrow um, and yeah just doing that this morning until Noah wakes up right so it's quite a bit later now I did a fair bit of editing and stuff this morning now I had a nice sleep didn't you yes I did <laughs> and then we had our lunch yes. what did you have for your lunch he's carrying carriages he is carrying carriages did he's you have thinking... oh you've lost one. Oh no <laughs> did you have um, fish fingers for your lunch yes Jenny had and, and waffles and waffles and beans Beans. And did you have a treat? Yeah. What did you have? He's got his lips on. He has. Oh, he's going in the tunnel. That's right. What? Um, oh dear. Oh dear. You have to... He's got problem. He's got problem. <laughs> Stick him back together then. Noah, what was your treat? It was a chocolate Oh. It was what? Chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons. Because he took, he had his puffer really nicely. So he had a bit of a treat of some chocolate buttons which went down very quickly. And now we're in the Peppa Pig room. Um, people are probably wondering why we call it the Peppa Pig room. It was named by Noah. Um, we have this like Peppa Pig like mat that he can walk on and it makes sounds. Um, and ages ago that was in here and he started just calling it the Peppa Pig room. So now that's what this room is called. Um, it's a bit of a... Uh, just it's a random a it's a bit of a random room at the moment it needs a big sort out to be honest we've got a piano in here that i think is gonna go is that right dad well possibly yeah. piano find a nice home for yeah it. i need to find a home for the piano it's got lots of toys and stuff but yeah it just needs a bit of a revamp some proper storage and yeah sorting out but ah, it is quite a lovely day <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah it's, it's a good room for playing in um, so Noah's got a lot of toys in here haven't you you got your whistle so we're just playing in here now Grandpa Grandpa has just made him a nice train track hasn't he yeah what did you think of the, Noah was the train track okay yeah oh careful do you have some trees Oh yeah, and also you can get the zoo animals out and send it a, a train at the zoo, couldn't you? Oh yeah, where's the zoo animals? They're here. You're not actually getting anything out, are you? Just, to, just making lots of around. noise. Oh, so much noise! Got a treat. Oh, you got a little signal thing as well. What a lot of noise! Good morning. I had a hard time waking up this morning. Um, just don't know. I get it sometimes where I just physically can't open my eyes, and it's really frustrating because I know I need to wake up, but I just can't get my body to do it. I don't know if anyone else gets that. Um, it's really frustrating, and I don't know whether it's a chronic illness thing or whether yeah I don't know whether it's something to do with the chronic fatigue or what but yeah it's just it's annoying um but then I didn't go to bed particularly well last night um I was down in the lounge and um just started getting really bad tummy pain and like pain like going from my tummy into my back um and so I was kind of stuck on the sofa for quite a while because I couldn't get up because of the pain um 
which made it quite difficult to go to bed. So yeah, I didn't didn't have the best nighttime experience. Um, but I got there in the end and went to sleep. Um, I do keep getting the tummy pains. I don't know what they are, but it wasn't much fun. Um, but yeah, it's a fairly sunny day at the moment. We've got Noah today, although he's at preschool, so I haven't got him for my, like most of the day. He was here like first thing this morning, and then my mum will pick him up um, at like half three, I think they finish. Um, but yeah, it's a bit quiet without him here. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting on. I need to try and finish editing this weekly vlog today because this is the last day I'm gonna be able to do anything, I think. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plan for the morning is to just get this finished and hopefully uploading. I don't know if that's too much <laughs> too much to hope for, but that's my aim. So that's what I'm gonna hopefully get done. So it's a lot later since I last spoke to you. Um, I finished editing my weekly vlog this morning and that's uploading. I've had some lunch and now Noah's back from school, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and what are we gonna do? Um, what? Cake. We're gonna do some cake. Um, so, Basically, all of, all Noah keeps saying about my birthday is that he wants to have chocolate cake for it. Good. So we bought a chocolate cake and we're going to do the candles because it will make him happy. So we're going to are we doing some chocolate cake? Cake! <laughs> I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so Nanny's just gone to find Grandpa, and then we're going to do some cake and candles, aren't we? Do you think? I'm gonna I don't think Noah likes chocolate cake. No, I'm gonna eat Noah's cake. You don't like cake, do you? No, no comment. Food. I'll eat it. <laughs> Noah doesn't like cake. Noah, can I have your cake then? What's Becca gonna eat your cake? Thanks. No, you don't like cake. <laughs> I think I do. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, you don't like some cake because you are old, don't you? You want chocolate cake? No, it said I'm old. No, it says Becca's too old to like cake. Well, in you, that case, you said to me in the car that you were too old for cake. Oh, yeah. I'll have the cake then if Noah's too old. If anyone's, no, you've got to say if anyone's too old, it's Jenny. Ooh. Noah, how old do you think Jenny is? You yeah, my birthday. It's, it's what your birthday. It's Jenny's birthday. birthday. Your birthday's after Jenny, isn't it? Noah, how old do you think Jenny is? Three. Go with that. <laughs> how old's Becca? Pardon? What? How old am I? Am I older than Jenny or younger? Is Jenny older than Becca? No, 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 no. Am I, am I older than Grandpa? No, no, no. You are not. Well, that's 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 you are older than this. What is that? It's the okay. cake. What is it? It's a hungry caterpillar. It's a hungry caterpillar cake. Actually, it's Cecil. No. Yes, this is um, this is Colin's cousin. Cecil. Yeah. <coughs> Hungry caterpillar. Hungry caterpillar. Right, so keep your fingers away from it. Well, this is my birthday. I think he shoved his finger right in there. Yeah, he was. No, it's Jenny's one. Yeah, it's Jenny's one. Jenny's one. No, it's Jenny's one, isn't it? It is. That's right. No, it's and then after Jenny's birthday, whose birthday is it? It's Noah's. Yeah, Noah's. Nine. 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 Nine.
spread that out so good. Now what do we have to do? We have to sing. Do we sing Jingle Bells? What are we sing? Happy birthday. Oh, no, now we sing. Do you, want to start? you start then. Now we sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Danny. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Okay. One, Ready? Two, three. 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 Oh. Yay! 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 Oh, another one. Right. Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. Thank, thank you. you. Now, what do we do now? Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. And then I eat it. And I eat it. Eat it, and you eat it. exciting parcel has just arrived supposedly for Noah but actually I think grandpa's more excited about it than he is um, it's basically the little red train at the front which is battery powered and it's got a remote control <laughs> day surgery procedure um, I'm having occipital nerve blocks well I think I'm having occipital nerve blocks I'm not sure because they said they were either going to do those or um, a I think it's like a pulsed radio frequency or something like that um, of the occipital nerves so it's one of the two um, but yeah I'm going in to have that done um, basically it's the nerves that are like they start under here well that's where they do the injections and they go into your head and stuff and I have them because I get a lot of pain in those nerves and these injections help. So I'm up and dressed, I need to just take my medication and then we're gonna head over to the hospital. I'm not gonna take my camera with me because I just don't wanna have anything kind of <laughs> lying around that's kind of unnecessary um, that might kind of go missing or something. So I'll have my phone so I might do a little few 
shots or something but otherwise I will talk to you when I get home. <laughs> gonna cry when you're gone changed and then the anaesthetist came to see me I scared him a bit I think with my medical history but um no he was really good and he seemed to be quite clued up on EDS and stuff which was nice because sometimes you tell someone you've got EDS and they're like what I don't know what that is <laughs> so yeah he seemed to know quite a lot about it um and yeah I went down to theatre um and oh my god the cannula um placement that the anaesthetist did it was literally one of the most painful cannulas I've ever had. I don't know what he was doing. Um, I think he got it in and then like my, he'd lost the vein. So, uh, so he was like trying to move it around and stuff. But it was really painful and I'm going to have, I don't know if you can see it, but I've already got quite a nice bruise coming up there. So that's fun. Um, so yeah, they did that and everything. Um, and I kept, I, I'd said to them, I was like, um, because I knew that they would have to move me once I was like under sedation. So I, was, I said, oh, I said, just to let you know, like, you know, I've had this surgery on my leg and it's not healed, like the bone still hasn't healed quite yet. And I've got complications with my knee. So I was like, please, please be careful. Um, and they were really good. And they said that they were going to be, you know, really gentle and all this kind of stuff. So that was good. Um, so yeah, they put the cannula in and then um, I had to turn over onto my front, which was slightly difficult because I haven't really been able to like turn over like that um, without a lot of pain with my leg. So that was quite painful. Um, and then they put like monitors and everything on you um, and an oxygen mask. <clears throat> and then you have to like, yeah, put your head like on this like ring thing, kind of like having a massage, but obviously not. Um, and then he said, oh, I'm going to give you something to make you feel relaxed. And like a few minutes later, he was like, he was like, do you feel, uh, do you feel nice and relaxed? And I was like, I don't really feel any different. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I was getting a bit worried because I was like, is this, is that it? Is that all you're giving me? But then he was like, okay, now we're going to give you something to make you go off to sleep. And I was like, okay, fine. Um, and yeah, no, before he did that, actually the, um, surgeon, cause they would do it, they did a, um, occipital pulsed radio frequency which is where they put like a like electrical current I think down the nerves to kind of like stun them to help with the pain um so it's like one up from having because sometimes I've had like the nerve blocks which is literally just like an injection into the nerve whereas this is like I think it's meant to last a bit longer um but he also, he was like pressing on my shoulders and he was like, does this hurt? Does this hurt? And I was like, yep, yep. And then he said, okay, well, well while we're doing the post radio frequency, he said, I'll do a load of um, injections like across my shoulders and like upper back um, to try and help with some of that pain. So I was like, great, <laughs> off you go, carry on. Um, and yeah, then I went off to sleep and next thing I knew I was in recovery. Um, I felt... When I when I sort of was waking up in recovery, I think I was shivering quite a lot um, because I was cold. Um, and then she said, "All right, I'm going to sit you up." And she sat me up, and I felt I felt so dizzy and faint. Um, she sort of sat me up, and I was like, "Whoa!" Um, and she was like, "You're all right," and I'm like, "Yeah, the room's just spinning." Um, and she gave me some water and stuff. And then once they were kind of happy with me there, I went back to the ward, and I think I was still shivering. And one of the nurses was like, 
felt like I could hear her. She was like, she said, oh, um, she said, oh, she's shivering a lot. Um, she's like, oh, she, she's not having another seizure, is she? Like, because I think I I told them about having the seizure last time. Um, and I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just cold. So they gave me another blanket. So once they'd given me another blanket and I'd been on the ward for a little while, like warmed up, because usually like basically theatre is always really cold. Um, and then the ward is really warm, so I warmed up quite well. Um, but I was like, when I heard her saying about like, oh, she's not having another seizure, like I started panicking because I was like, oh God, no, like this can't happen again. Um, but then I kind of like, I don't know, thought a bit more and I was like, no, I'm, I'm just cold. Um, and I had been quite nervous before I went in because this is like my first surgical procedure since um, I had my osteotomy on my leg and I don't know I think I just started getting myself a bit anxious thinking like I don't know I hope I was I think I was just thinking like oh no I hope it's not as traumatic as last time and what if things go wrong again and like obviously you know it's a completely different procedure it's not as big at all um but I think just the whole just the situation and stuff just got me a bit anxious yeah they gave me a cup of tea when I got back to the ward and some biscuits they did offer me a sandwich but I just didn't really fancy a sandwich so got some bourbons um had my tea and like a proper mug as well which I don't think I've ever had there it's usually you just get like a little polystyrene cup um but yeah I know that cup of tea like the, that first cup of tea after you've come out of surgery is always the best cup of tea ever because you've been like you haven't been able to eat or drink for ages beforehand um, and I honestly think that they could make probably the worst cup of tea and it would still taste good so yeah I just I drank that and ate my bourbons um, and then I ended up falling asleep for a bit I was just you feel really tired after a sedation or anaesthetic um, and then once I kind of come around a bit again um, they said that I could get dressed I still well even though I still feel really dizzy so I was having to like take it easy a bit because every time I stand up I feel like I'm going to faint um, I don't know if that's my pots or something that they gave me but whatever it is it's making me feel a bit crap um, but yeah I got dressed, phoned my dad and they took the cannula out which was interesting I don't know, there's something about that cannula and I don't know what it was but they took the cannula out and I ended up with like blood gushing out of my hand um, I've never seen it quite so bad um, so they popped like the, like what do you call it, not cotton wool, but like the thing on it with the tape to try and hold it down um, and then thankfully it stopped. Um, and yeah, then they, one of the nurses wheeled me down to the front entrance, literally like, she just like sat me by the like door to like the outside and she was like, all right then bye. I was like, okay. And I just had to sit there and wait for my dad and I was like, this is a, I don't know, I just felt a little bit, like, vulnerable, because I still, I, well, even now I don't feel particularly, like, with it, and I really didn't feel with it then, I felt really, like, faint and sore and stuff, and there's all these people, well, actually it was quite busy, fairly busy, not, like, the busiest I've seen it, but there was quite a few people coming in and out, and I'm sitting there, like, shivering, because it's, like, cold, because the wind's blowing in, and the rain's blowing in, and... I was like, this isn't this isn't how I want to <laughs> sit just after I've had a surgery procedure. Thankfully, my dad wasn't long, um, and then he got me in the car and brought me home. I've just had a bit of soup to get some food in me, and now I'm going to crash out and fall asleep on the sofa. Um, I don't have any plans for today or tomorrow, um, so I'm hoping that if I just rest like today and tomorrow that I might feel a bit better by Sunday for my birthday but we'll see I'm just gonna have to play it by ear so yeah I think some sleeping is in order um I might talk to you later I don't know it depends how I'm feeling but I thought I'd just check in and let you know how it went um he did say that the pain is probably going to get worse before it gets better which I know I've had this done well, I've had this this procedure done once before um, and I've had the occipital nerve blocks and other, other nerve injections and stuff done I don't even know how many times and it do, the pain does always flare up um, for a week or two and then 
hopefully it will start to get better so that's the idea anyway <laughs> um but anyway i'm gonna have a nice so i'll hopefully have a nice sleep put the telly on and just and just relax i think good morning actually sorry that's a lie <laughs> it's the afternoon um yeah i don't feel brilliant um i had all these sort of thoughts yesterday uh, before i had this um procedure that i was like you know okay saturday um i'll get up i'll have my breakfast i'll get myself dressed and then i will spend the day on the sofa um i'll sort of rest and everything but i was like um i'll play on my nintendo switch um i'll write my cards for october i'll do some bits on my laptop and i don't know why i thought that that was gonna work because I just I should know by now that there's just no point in trying to plan anything when you've had any kind of surgery because you just don't know what your body's going to do and how it's going to react and even if you've had it before it can be completely different um and yeah I think I was just putting a little bit too much pressure on myself to be productive on a day when actually I don't need to be productive I find it very, very difficult to take a proper sick day. Um, I think I saw um, Jenny from Chronically Jenny. I watched her video yesterday, I think it was, and she was kind of talking about taking sick days when you're chronically ill. Um, I mean, she was talking it, talking about it like in the context of work, um, whereas I don't necessarily have that experience. Well, now I don't. I did work in the past, but. Um, at the moment I don't have that experience but just taking like a sick day like anyone else would um, from just life <laughs> um, and I always find it very difficult to do that because when you're like chronically ill and you feel so unwell like all the time if if you if it was a healthy person that felt like you did you know they would take a sick day for it but I can't necessarily do that, but I could do that and I could just do nothing all the time, but I want to try and do something when I can. And so it's quite difficult to work out, like, when am I ill enough to kind of admit defeat and be like, okay, you know, you don't have to be productive, you don't have to try and do stuff, you can just rest and that's okay. Um... I do find it difficult to just to find that balance sometimes. Um, so I do find that I end up pushing myself when I probably shouldn't. But today, I've just kind of said, okay, <laughs> you're having a sick day. You've had surgery. If anyone else has had it, they would probably be, you know, relaxing a bit and letting themselves rest and recover. So just because you're chronically ill doesn't mean that should be any different. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, I got up really late, um, my mum came and woke me up but then I didn't sleep particularly well, I kept waking up because I was in pain, um, so that wasn't much fun, um, and yeah, came down, um, tried to eat a bit of breakfast and didn't get very far, um, I don't know whether it's just coincidence or whether like the anaesthetic and stuff has got anything to do with it, but um, it's really messed with my stomach. Um, literally ate a few spoonfuls and I was doubled over in pain. And I've spent most of the morning in and out of the loo feeling really, really sick and in a lot of pain. So that's not great. I really do need to get eating. Um, I did manage a bit of soup and a forty sip yesterday. So if that's all I can manage, then at least that's something. Um, but yeah, it was just making me feel really awful. So I just, I stopped. Like very rarely will I stop like eating something because I kind of I know I get symptoms with whatever I eat and I know I need to try and like get food in me um and that's why I've got full sips so that if I can't get food in me I've at least got them um but no this morning I was just like I can't do this I just was making me too ill um and it's also just really messed with my pots symptoms which which it always does like my temperature is just all over the place my pulse just is going crazy um and yeah, just just not feeling brilliant, to be honest. I'm really sore um, in my neck and shoulders and stuff, which they said would happen, and it does. It, it always gets worse before it gets better. Um, and 
like when they did the injections and the pulse radio frequency, um, they would have put like local anaesthetic in it as well. So yesterday it wouldn't have been quite so bad, but I can definitely feel it more today. Um, and it just feels like I've got like a really bad headache, but hopefully it will be worth it in the long run. So yeah, it's now like half past two and I've just about managed to get dressed. I could have just stayed in my pyjamas, but I just, I don't know. I feel better if I at least put some clothes on. Um, I've just got a nice big baggy jumper and some tracky bottoms and that will do me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a rest, I think, on the sofa and then I might try and eat something else a little bit later. I don't quite know what I'm going to eat at the moment. I just need to find something that's fairly bland. I might try some pasta or something. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Um... But yeah, my cake lady brought my birthday cake today. I decided to order one from her this year because, ugh, let's face it, can't really do much else for my birthday. Um, usually I, do, I tend to mainly order from her on like if it's more of like a special birthday. Um, although actually I have done it in previous years, it just, it varies. But I just thought this year, you know, we can't get together as family. We can't do an awful lot you know, on the day because I'm not going to be feeling very well. And so I just thought, I'm going to treat myself and have a nice cake. So she's brought that over, so I'll show you that later because it's really nice. Um, and also my sister got some helium balloons delivered. Um, and weirdly, she didn't know what kind of cake I was getting. And the theme of the cake and the theme of the balloons is exactly the same, which is just spooky. Um, so I'll show you those later as well because they made me smile. I've also had some flowers delivered from my friend Kim. So yeah, it's been it's bit there have been nice things this morning and I'm trying really, really hard to focus on them. Um because my mental health has not been good. <laughs> Last night I was just in tears at like two o'clock in the morning. Um I find basically I find that anesthetics do this to me. Um they just completely wreck my mental health for some reason. Um I don't know if anybody else finds this, but yeah, I just, I was crying, I get like really, really dark thoughts and it just feels really unmanageable. And even though I know that things will improve a little bit, like once the anaesthetic and everything is out of my system, when you're in that position of like feeling that low, you just can't see that. Um... And yeah, I just, one minute I feel not too bad and I'm like, yeah, I can do this. And then the next minute I'm in tears and it feels like the end of the world. So <laughs> I'm great to be around at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to fall asleep, I think. So I'll stop filming and rambling at you. But I thought I'd just update you um, and let you know how I am this morning. And yeah, I'll probably talk to you later and show you my cake and my balloons. So before I try and eat a bit of lunch, I just thought I'd show you um, a few bits. So these are the flowers that my friend Kim sent me. Um, they're obviously still quite closed up at the moment, but I think they're going to be really pretty. I do love a pink rose. Um, and yeah, they're looking really nice on our windowsill. And then these are the balloons that Becca ordered for me. They're from um, a company called Bubblegum Balloons. I'll link them below if you're interested. They do amazing or uh, like balloon what do you call them, <laughs> displays and things like that. Um, so yeah, we've got a pink heart, a purple heart, and this kind of like rainbowy happy birthday one. And then a massive rainbow at the top. So this is gonna give you a little bit of a clue about what my um, birthday cake is gonna look like. But yeah, I'm loving these. Good evening. Sorry, filming has not been very good today, but it was kind of expected. Um, I managed to film a little video for Chronically Jenny's POTS awareness um, video earlier, so I'm quite happy that I managed to do that. I don't know if it's any good because I'm not in the best places today, but hopefully it can go towards um, some awareness that she's putting together. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's just mainly been lying on the sofa dozing and putting the TV on and not really watching it very well. Um, I managed to get eat a little bit of plain pasta at lunchtime, so I've got something in me. I've now got some Marmite toast because that is pretty much what I live on if my gastro symptoms are playing up. Um, I don't know, I'd be interested to hear what your go-to food is for if you're 
well, if you've got gastroparesis or something like that, or any kind of digestive problem, what your go-to food is if things are really bad. It's either Marmite toast or four to sips, depending on what is going on. Um, but yeah, or soup sometimes. But yeah, I've got my Marmite toast and I'm going to play a bit of Animal Crossing because I feel like I haven't played for ages and they've got a new Halloween update, um, which I would quite like to have a little look at. I've also managed to have a shower and wash my hair, thanks to my mum. <laughs> um, I'd kind of planned to do it today because one, because it needed doing, it hadn't been done for quite a while and I was feeling pretty minging, but also after being in the hospital, um, you just, I don't know, you just feel, I don't know, not very nice. You, you, I had like sticky stuff like all in the back of my hair and stuff from where they'd done the procedure. Um, and I don't know, I think there's something about coming home from a hospital and you just feel like you want to have a nice shower. Um, but I was like thinking today, I was like, oh, I really don't think I can do this. <laughs> um, but I want to feel nice for tomorrow for my birthday, so... I thought, no, do you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take my time over it. My mum's going to help me. And so, yeah, I managed to do it. And actually, I do feel, like, mentally better for it. Not particularly physically at the moment. But, um, no, it's nice to just feel a little bit fresher and wash all the hospitalness out. So, yeah, I've got the telly on. I'm not really watching it. I don't know what... Now, I think it's Yes Man at the moment, which I don't think I've actually seen, but it's kind of at the end, so I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know what's happened. Um, but I'm going to eat my toast, play a bit of Animal Crossing, and just chill out. I've got a really bad stomach ache as well, which is not great for me when I need to try and eat. But we'll see how we get on. Good morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm 32 today. I can't quite get my head around that number. Um, it just, I don't know, it feels a bit weird. I think it's because I'm not, I'm not anywhere near where I thought I would be at 32. Um, and like, I watch other YouTubers and stuff who are a similar age, who have children and have been married and have a house and all that. And yeah, it just, it feels kind of weird that I am just not in that place at all. But you know, we've all got different struggles in life and different kind of parts haven't we so that's what I keep trying to tell myself that you know this path is the one that I'm meant to be on for whatever reason that is um and yeah just trying to focus on the good things um so yeah I feel I do feel a bit better today um I think resting yesterday definitely helped I still don't feel like great um but I don't feel quite as like zoned out as I did yesterday um so that's good um i've done my usual like sunday things of watching the virtual church service sorting out my medication um i went down this morning and there was a massive percy pig sitting where i was at, like where i sit at the at the table um with some packets of percy pigs from my mum so that made me smile um i did like film it so i will put it in here at some point so you can see what's that lenny probably thinks what's this weird pink thing that's come to my house it's called Percy Lenny he's taking my place is that okay <laughs> so this is what I found when I came down for my breakfast this morning and apparently this isn't the biggest Percy pig there's a bigger one God knows how big that one is, but <laughs> I think this one's big enough. And yeah, I've just been getting myself dressed and stuff. I got um, videos sent from Noah and Maisie wishing me a happy birthday, which was like probably one of the highlights of my day. Um, I don't know like when I'm going to be able to kind of celebrate with them. Um, but it was just really sweet. Like Noah, Noah sang happy birthday and like said that he loved me and stuff, which was just really cute um and Maisie 
like Emma, Emma sang happy birthday and Maisie was just like looking at her funny and then um, after a little while like you could hear Maisie trying to sing it and it was just so sweet and she like she tried to say Jenny and stuff so yeah really really special videos that have just made me smile today so that was nice. Um, I am going to try and like celebrate with both of the like families but it's just trying to work out how to do it. I think we're hoping that Emma and Maisie might be able to come over in the week because I think David's got some more work, electrician work to do um, at the Scout Hut. So hopefully Emma and Maisie will come over and we can just have a little have a little get together and a celebration. It's just trying to work it out when like my sisters are at work so that we've got enough, like, well, so that we don't have too many people in the house with the rule of six and stuff. And yeah, it's, it's not easy, especially when the weather's not good and you can't go out and like go for a walk and whatever with somebody. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing with Richard and Lisa and Noah yet, but I'm sure we'll we'll work something out. Um, don't have a huge amount planned for today because we didn't really know how I'd be feeling, but we have booked to go for lunch at a local pub, um, which is probably one of my favourite places to go for Sunday lunch because they just do the best roasts. Um, so we're going there in a little while, so that should be quite nice. Um, and yeah, that's really, that's really it. Um, it's a fairly quiet day. Um, I think my dad's out at a church thing this evening, so I might watch a film. I think Onwards on Disney Plus now, so I might watch that. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be like because of, well, because of restrictions and because of my health, um, it's going to be a bit of a spread out birthday, which I'm fine with. I actually prefer it like that because I find it a lot more manageable. So I've got little things planned kind of over the next few weeks um, of things to do with like different friends and different family members. I think. Um, my mum and my dad and I are going to um, book to go to Wisley at some point because I'd really like to do that. But one, I want to make sure I'm feeling kind of better from my surgery thing. Um, and also we want to get a day when it's not pouring down with rain like it is today. So that should be nice when we can do that. But yeah, I'll kind of take you along on what we do today. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll be nice. <laughs> I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time What it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down
Can't make a wish because I can't blow them out. You've got to pretend you've got them out. Oh, they learn. <laughs> Let me blow the candle switch out and then I can make a wish. Well, wow, that was cool, wasn't it, Noah and Maisie? I'm going to make a wish now. <laughs> oh. Yay! Well, we can give, we can bring some cake down for Richard and Lisa and Noah at some point, and then I think. David's coming on Tuesday, isn't he? So we can send some back with him for you guys. Okay. Grandpa. Grandpa. Me. Oh, she's Hello. waving at you. That's me. Yeah, Grandpa. Yeah. So cute. I'm Freddie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who else is there? Who else is there? Hey. Nanny. <laughs> Nanny. Hello. I know that I haven't been who I was I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I film little clips and stuff like that um but yeah no it's been a nice like just chilled out day which I think is what I needed I'm still feeling pretty kind of rough after my day surgery so I didn't want anything too big um managed to go for lunch which was really nice um it was only down the road so there wasn't too much traveling or anything like that um and the food was very nice um I went for the roast lamb because I wasn't sure whether I'd like the vegetarian option because usually I would go for the vegetarian option but I thought I'll go for the roast lamb and then I can give my lamb to my dad. Um, I did eat a little bit of it but I just struggle with meat. Um, but I then kind of thought actually I could have just asked for the roast like without the meat and then had the cauliflower cheese but that was kind of retrospect. Um, but no, it was nice, um, kind of paying for it now with 
gastroparesis symptoms and stuff but it was worth it <laughs> just to go out and uh, have a nice time my battery's flashing so I'm not going to go into too much detail but yeah basically that used up most of my energy um, and so I slept most of the afternoon and then this evening watched um, Onward on Disney Plus which was really really good I had birthday cake tea and toast and yeah it was just a really nice chilled out evening I haven't managed to open presents yet um, I just ran out of energy so that will be in next week's vlog um, but yeah no it's been nice we did a video call with um, Richard, Lisa and Noah and Emma and Maisie David was at work um, when we did my cake so that was good even though we couldn't all be together like physically it meant that we could like be together kind of you know a bit um so yeah no it's been nice obviously like I spoke earlier about how birthdays are always difficult and things like that but I think I might make a separate video on that just about like coping with like birthdays and stuff when you're chronically ill so if anyone would be interested in that let me know um but yeah, I'm going to sign off now before my battery goes. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. I know it's been a little bit all over the place with different things. But if you have enjoyed it and you'd like to see more from me, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. That means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you've been up to this week. How you're getting on with the different like restrictions that are in place. How you're coping and yeah also come and follow me on social media my links are in the description below um but i'll pop my instagram and twitter up here and also forgot to say let me know if there's any particular videos you'd like to see because it's always good to hear what you guys would like to see so that it gives me ideas of what to film um but yeah i will see you in another video very soon bye